In this lesson, we're going to be talking about disk encryption. Disk encryption is actually something that was not really difficult to do, but sort of out of the reach of normal desktop computers for a really long time, although there have long been ways to do encryption of files and to a lesser degree, maybe of entire disks. As we get faster processors, certainly encrypting entire disks and being able to encrypt and decrypt on the fly without affecting performance is something that's certainly come within reach. And it's a feature that shows up in most modern operating systems to one degree or another these days. We're going to look at a couple of ways here of doing disk encryption. And I'm going to tell you about one of them first, and it's not one I can show you. With Microsoft, their Windows systems have this program called BitLocker. BitLocker requires either Windows Ultimate or Windows Enterprise. I don't happen to have either version, so I can't show it to you, but I can tell you that BitLocker has the ability to do entire disk encryption, and they use AES for their encryption cipher. And the thing about BitLocker is that they use a feature that comes with most modern systems, particularly laptops. They'll have this chip in them that's called the Trusted Platform Module, or TPM. The TPM chip, in part, what it does is it stores the keys that allow the operating system to be able to access the disk through this encryption and decryption process. And they use a pretty strong encryption cipher, which is AES, but you have to have one of a couple of different versions of Windows in order to be able to use BitLocker. And it's one of those things you would normally run in an enterprise. And so that's why they included it in the enterprise edition of Windows. Now on the Mac OS side, they have this thing called File Vault, and you'll see I'm here in System Preferences, and I'm going to go to Security and Privacy, and I go to File Vault. Now, in this case, I happen to have File Vault turned on. If I wanted, I could turn it off. I'm not going to do that, but if it weren't turned on, I would have the little button there that says Turn on File Vault. And when I turned on File Vault, it would ask me about setting up keys, and I would have to set up keys and passwords. So the operating system handles this process by starting the encryption of all of the files on your hard drive, and it does this in the background. Now, you can get third-party extensions for some of these operating systems like Windows and Mac OS. PGP happens to have the ability to do disk encryption. And you can see that in the case of this Ubuntu system, they've got a package called GDEcrypt, which is a GUI that allows you to map and mount and create encrypted volumes. So I could run GDEcrypt and it would help me set up the process of encrypting the volumes that I've got on my system and doing the mapping and mounting. And if you're doing any sort of work with sensitive information like ethical hacking or penetration testing, you may be getting your hands on a lot of sensitive information that is owned by your clients. If your system were to be stolen or lost, then your client's data is now at risk. So certainly setting up disk encryption for yourself as you're working with clients and their data is a really good idea. But disk encryption, as I mentioned before, is now not only possible, it's very much a reality with current operating systems.